perfect. So, um, I really wasn't gonna do a voiceover for this video, but someone said, um, without a voiceover, that it just becomes um, a normal card video. Good point, I guess. But uh, over the weekend, when was it? Sunday. Uh, a long time coming. I visited the West London Bashes. A great bunch of guys. Uh, especially big shout out to Stephen who. Who I um, don't recall meeting at Bash Fest, but I, I certainly would have remembered him. But but no, got to know him properly this time. He, we've been Facebook friends for a while, but he, the guy is crazy. He's absolutely nuts about RC. And I mean, like, um, while we were there, I was only there for like three, four hours. And uh, in that time, he must have taken apart his Baja several times, fixing this, fixing that. And to him, it's just all part of the old. Um, RC game. He didn't seem to have any issues about ripping it apart, poking it around, stabbing it, bashing it. So there's Jerry, um, Duncan, Scott, uh, Lucian, and I think uh, oh, there's a guy turned up at the end with a what did he have? A vector. Um, so very very briefly as I was leaving, really I just wanted to kind of get to know them a bit better uh, ahead of Bash Fest, which is coming up. Um, I know the All Stars, I know the North Hats, and now I know the West London Bashers. Um, I'd have to be honest that um, it was great fun watching them um, on the on the where they where they do. It's basically um, end of a massive field and a, and a football pitch, with, including two goals, two goalposts. <laughs> and I'm amazed out of um, all the area where you know size of football pitch, literally. How many times they do manage to hit the actual goalposts? Um, I saw one guy was actually hooning it around, doing really, really well. And then for, <laughs> for reasons I cannot explain, it, he just went oh, like a missile straight into the goalpost and buckled his rear wheel. So, I mean, easy fix, but still, that's quite funny. Um, but yeah, it was great, um, great fun. It attracted a lot of attention, because obviously kids like going, Oh my God, Daddy, look at these, look at these, look at these cars and that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, and some of the cars were absolutely beautiful. It was really, really lush. There was an FG something... Crap, I can't remember the name of it. I'm really wrong with the name. But there was an FG car that was... Sally wasn't running too long. I don't know why. I didn't get a lot... I don't think I got any footage. Um, hmm, did I get any footage? I don't think I did. But, um, most of the time I got a... Um, I got this car. I have a lot of admiration for... Uh, these guys who really, really are passionate about the hobby. Um, I admire anyone who's passionate about a hobby, so long as it doesn't hurt anybody, you know what I mean? Um, and these guys are, uh, are, I don't know about hardcore, but certainly you know, enthusiasts. They put me to shame. Um, I would love, personally, if I could have um, <laughs> if I had more money, <laughs> currently is going into a, my my old Audi. Um, I would I would certainly buy a Dragon Hammer. I do like the Dragon Hammer. Um, I do like the um, the Vector. Yes, I know, but I only like the Vector since it came out with the the trip tires, the the bigger, fatter tires. They look they look more scale and just you know look just sort of look way better. And and yes. Um, I don't know whether I'm because I'm I'm all drugged up because I'm a lot of painkillers, but the Bahas, oh maybe I'm, maybe maybe I'm being a hypocrite. I don't know, but the Bahas were looking quite sweet. I'll be honest, uh, the Bahas were looking really nice and they were doing their thing. And and one particular, I was like, oh my goodness, that is actually turning quite well. Not too bad. But again, probably due to a good driver as well. So, um, but now yeah, the the, the, <laughs> the stand of the driving um, with the West by the West London Bash. Were, was very good, but I, I did make a comment saying no matter how good you are um, on a on a football field with two or three cars running at Bash Fest, it's carnage. You <laughs> if you get round um, the first lap without getting hit, then quite frankly you have spider sense. I don't know how you would avoid anything. Um, it's just pure carnage. Um, I personally think that uh, we should encourage better driving. So how is this for controversy, right? Um, in the oval, it's just basically going round and round, right? Sometimes up to, crikey, 10, 15, 15 cars. Um, and I know it's tricky, difficult, but um, it interrupts the flow of the, of the of the racing, of the driving, I think. So every time a car goes upside down, um, 
um, the wardens um, stop, blow the whistle, and they stop the race. Or they stop driving. And it's very much start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. I think, I think that if you, there should be almost like a, um, I don't know how you'd marshal it, but I think there should be, if you, if you roll your car, or your car goes upside down, then, um, hmm, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but basically just find some way so that the cars just keep going round and round and round and round and, and not keep start stopping, because certainly selfishly, and I appreciate that it's quite selfish, that, um, um, that trying to take great footage of, of these cars is is very tricky because um, well not tricky it's not even tricky because it's just pointing and focusing at the end of the day but I would say almost I'm not going to say tedious but just kind of you know not interesting um, because um, for every kind of 45 minute video that I, I push out there's probably about I get 15 minutes of footage, so you know, probably a, th a third of the footage I take. No, sorry, two thirds of the footage I take is just just sat there doing nothing because just because cars go round and round. But I want to try something different at Bash Fest this year. Um, I'm going to try and do more interviews, try and get to meet everybody more. Um, I'm I, I I noticed that last time round, um, some people recognised uh, my handiwork, if not my not my face, because I, I don't show my face. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, but uh, yeah, so yeah. This, sorry, this was supposed to be about West London. So <laughs> uh, West London boys. Uh, yeah, I'm. Um, um, they are a great bunch of lads. Um, the banter was great, and I, and, I, and I love the banter. You know, the kind of the mockery and, and, and the piss taking is just right up my alley. Um, and lots of lots of innuendo. I mean, you, you can imagine, you can imagine just all the innuendo. And that, that kind of kind of gets bashed around, so to speak. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I've waffled on. I don't I don't really know what I'm saying because, uh, like I said, I'm on I'm on several combinations of drugs, legal drugs. In case you're wondering, the legal stuff, none of the kind of dodgy stuff. You now I'm trying to. I, I am a good boy, uh, but yeah. So uh, apologies if this is kind of more rambly than usual. Uh, I just want to put something out there, and uh, yeah. Comment below um, about anything. Share with your cars. If you have a channel, if you're starting off a channel, then let me know, and I'll follow you, and um, and I'll look at your yeah, look at your videos. Um, uh, I recently um, joined. I followed a guy, and his first video was the first video I saw was his DBXL pulling a car. I mean, a real, an actual life-size car, and I'm thinking, come on. Come on, that's just mental. A DBXL pulling an actual car. Well, anyway, uh, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to say it's. You know, it's 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 not false. But geez, that's. That must, I mean, um, to be fair, I know the uh, DBXL with um, the now 320 has got um, a lot of torque, but it's just surely it doesn't have an, enough grip to pull a car. Anyway, rambling again. Drugs kicking in. Um, um, so like if you like, dislike if you dislike, yeah. comment below, subscribe, yeah. all that malarkey, and I'll see you at Bash Fest. Bye, guys.